Hey guys, so in this um, video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to share your Calibre library. Now friends and family, um, you can share it around in your house or you can share it out and about on the web. Now what we need to do here is go to preferences and you'll, you'll notice right now that this is like dark. Just connect and share. I'll show you in a second. So you click your preferences and there are two ways you can share. You can share books by email, and all you have to do is add an email address, and then who you're sending it from, so from myself to myself. And then once that's set, <clears throat> then you're good to go. And then, when you're out here, if you want to share a book, you just right click, go to connect and share, go to email, now, since I already have it in there, it's good to go. And you can see down here, jobs. Email Ready Player One has been sent. So, if I go to my email, You see it's right here. And when you click it, <clears throat> you can download it. You see it's downloading here. So you can send it to your friends or whoever you want. Somebody has a book that you really like and you want to send it to them, you can send it to them that way. So that's the first way you can send stuff. Now the second way is you go to preferences and you go sharing over the net. Now this is really cool. Basically what you're going to do is you've got to make sure you have a listening port. You can change this because I think all calibers, this is a default, 8080. And what you want to do is you want to run start the server. And it tells you where exactly you need to go and then you add that at the end. Now to test the server, you can just click it and you'll see that it comes up with your two libraries. Now, I've also made one so that it's basically, when I'm away, this is what I'll use. And as you can see, once again, it brings up your Calibre library. Then you can just click one. Brings up all your books. And you can either read it right now. And to move around on this, you just use your up-down arrows. Like that. Or you can download it. So if you're on the go and you're using your phone, sorry, and you're using a phone or something and you want to have it on your phone, you just click the download button and it'll download for you. So this is a really cool way. To be able to access it when you're on the go. Um, I use it often and it works really really good. So you've got to make sure though, this is the most important part, that you have the right um, IP, that you have colon 8080 or whatever you've changed your port to, and that you have the server on. Now this means that basically it has to be running. See how these are now green? They were dark before it's because it's connected now this sucks a little bit when you're on the road and you have it on a, like for example a laptop and the laptop goes to sleep then chances are you're not going to be able to access your stuff but if you have it on a on a PC that you keep on all the time and you have your caliber open you'll always be able to access it wherever you are so in the event too also that say you're away and and your husband or your wife is at home, all they gotta do is fire up Calibre for you and you'll be able to access all your books. So I just thought I'd show you a quick way to um, be able to share. And so as you can see, you can share your books through email or you can also share them um, through the server, which is my favorite way. Okay, hope that helps you guys. Have a great day.